Swabber's first newborn of 2009. And the traditional New Year's Day struggle between Beast and Cowboy at Tumbarumba. Good evening, I'm Ashley Brown with your local news bulletin tonight. First in news, Batlow's new hospital is sick. Just six months after it was opened, there are what Greater Southern Area Health Service describes as serious defects that need to be fixed. It's so serious, nursing union members are refusing to admit new patients. Police have today asked us all to help as they try to trace arsonists who've lit at least three fires in Wagga this week. Two grass fires and a fire on a roundabout. Nothing too serious yet, but the two grass fires had potential to be very costly. It's becoming an all too familiar sight in Wagga's CBD. This morning, the roundabout on the corner of Morgan and Tarkata streets went up in smoke. The fire didn't do too much damage and it certainly brought the neighbours out. But in the last few days, there's also been fires on Willans Hill and in the Silverlight Reserve at Ashmont. We'd really like to catch these people responsible. Um, whilst it's only uh, damaged a fairly minor portion of grassland, there's quite a bit of potential there for nearby houses and businesses uh, that they could catch a light. And um, you know, in conditions like this where it's warm and windy, um, there's quite a potential for fire to, fires to get out of control. If you know anything about the recent fires, contact Crime Stoppers. Melinda Hayter, Prime News. Still to come tonight, an in-depth look at the amazing good being done at the Tamora Men's Shed. Coming up in sport, all the grand final highlights from 2008 and what makes Tumbarumba's New Year's rodeo tick. Thank you.